Ben Ishai say he brings it from the Malbim that it's an halacha that we're not allowed to speak in between putting the tefillin in the hand and the tefillin in the head. After you put this, you made the bracha, you shouldn't interpret between those two. Interrupt. Interrupt. So you shouldn't interrupt in between those two. Now, we also, when we reach Ma Israel, there's an, also an halakha that we shouldn't interrupt in the, in the middle. For example, if someone comes and says hi to you, not always you can uh, say hi to him back. Depends who is he, if it's your father, if it's your rabbi, so you can say anytime. But if it's just a regular person, you can say only in between the paragraphs. You cannot say it in the, in between, in, in the middle of Shema Yisrael. But Tfilin Shel Yad and Tfilin Shel Rosh, to speak between that, it's even more serious. And more of a problem than speaking in the middle of Shema Yisrael. Because... In between Tfilin, Shel Yad and Rosh, even if your rabbi comes and say hi to you, you're not allowed to say hi to him back. If your father comes and say shalom, you're not allowed to say shalom back. It's so important to not make this interruption. That's why the interruption is not just by speaking, it's also by uh, action. For example, someone comes to the Bet Knesset, you just put the hand, and you didn't put the head yet, you are in between. And you wanna make him, you know, uh, you wanna tell him something, but not by speaking, just make a, a motion. You tell him, go there. You're not allowed to do it in between. Even, you know, sometimes you wanna blink to a hint something. Even that, the Ben Ishchai say, you should be careful to not do so. If for Sfaradim, if you spoke and something that has no connection to the tefillin in between those two tefillin, you have to say a blessing on the tefillin shrosh. But if you just made a motion or blink or spoke and you ask someone, is this right how I put tefillin? Or you ask something that is connected to the tefillin, it is a problem. However, it's not considered as a full interruption, and you don't need to make another blessing for Tfilin Shavuosh. What's a bracha? The bracha is different, right? Let's say, right? The bracha that you need to say in a case that you made an interruption, the bracha is Asher Kiddushanu Mitzvotav Etzivanu Al Mitzvat Tefilin. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen.